3.5 million people are coming to Ontario. What? Stay tuned to this episode of Prime Parks TV. I promise it will be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Parks TV. I'm so glad you could join us here. As a Torontonian, in my experience, we're used to our sports franchises not doing so well or witnessing some of the worst sports collapses ever, at least in my lifetime anyways. But this year's totally different. We won the TFC Cup, our teams are doing incredibly well, and the Raptors are a serious contender. If there's a time to jump on the Raptors bandwagon, it is now. I know it's a mandatory thing in our household, and I'm serious. Anyways, recently Mississauga's Commissioner of Planning Ed Sajiki, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but S-A-J-E-C-K-I, worked in conjunction with Verizon to do some research in the population of the Golden Horseshoe and the growth of it, and there are some staggering results. The Golden Horseshoe, in case you don't know, is a large area that encompasses the GTA. It's expected to get 3.5 million people immigrating to the area by 2030. That's a whole lot of people. Anytime we hear population growth as investors, we should be excited. It means that there will be a demand for our properties and our assets. And let me do the math for you. 3.5 million people is like 290,000 people per year until 2030. That's a lot. To give you some perspective, the city of Mississauga, and I said city, not suburb, is about 1 million people right now. Over the course of the next 12 years, we're gonna get three Mississaugas coming into the Golden Horseshoe. That's insane almost unheard of. And let me break this down for you guys a little bit more, okay? And to be conservative, let's say half of the 290,000 people coming a year will be going to Toronto, half. So that's 145,000, which sounds about right with all the other economists' predictions. If each family averages three people, that's about 48,000 families a year coming to Toronto. If each family needs one roof, just one, and three people, that means we're gonna need 48,000 new homes a year to finish to meet that kind of demand. That's a lot of homes that need to be built a year. And I don't think we have that kind of supply for that kind of demand. In 2017, we were lucky. We got 18,232 condo completions, which will be enough for supply for less than say, half of the people immigrating to Toronto. In 2018, it's a little bit better. It's scheduled to have 20 to 22,000, which still isn't half. The amount of low-rise housing that's supposed to complete is not even close to filling the remaining 23,000 roofs that are required to have all these people in the city, which leaves us with a huge supply problem, which will lead us to likely a price increase from the demand, which means as us, as investors, we can be excited for the coming years. Woohoo! Thank you guys for watching. If you guys learned something in this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you like the content on the channel, subscribe to Prime Privacy channel right here. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below or feel free to reach out to me. My contacts are right here. And until next time, guys, happy real estate. EA is part. Let's stop that.